69 the new heavens, and the new earth. But as it is written the things that the eye did not see, and the ear did not hear, and did not rise to the heart of man, are those that God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians 29 First letter to the Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Dear brothers, Holy Spirit is revealing to us that we must pass on to you something wonderful, this New Year's Eve. To study about what is most wonderful of all the gospel, is salvation, and the promises God has made to those who will save themselves. Here the Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthians, that what the eyes did not see, and what the ears did not hear, and never even the man dreamed. Man has no way of knowing these things, they are the ones that God has prepared for those who love God. There is no way to describe the wonders that God has prepared for those who love God, for those who are saved, and who will meet Christ. This hope is a reality, every gospel focuses on our salvation, and our salvation focuses on the kingdom of God, and the kingdom of God is wonderful. These things that the Apostle Paul is saying, that what the eye did not see, and what he heard did not hear, nor the heart of man never imagined that exists, they are written in the Apocalypse, in chapter 21, verse 1 to 7, where he reports on the new skies, and the new earth. And I saw a new sky, and a new earth. For already the first sky and the first earth passed, and the sea no longer exists. And I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, which of God descended from heaven, spoken as a wife and forced for her husband. And I heard a great voice from the sky, which said, Here is the tabernacle of God with men, for with them will dwell, and they shall be your people, and the same God will be with them, and will be your God. And God wipes from his eyes all the tear, and there will be no more death, no weeping, no clamor, no pain, because the first things are past. And the one who sat on the throne said Behold, I make all things new. And said to me Write, because these words are true and faithful. And he told me more it's done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Whoever is thirsty, for free I will give you the source of the water of life. Whoever wins will inherit all things. And I will be your God, and he will be my son. Revelation 211-7 Apocalypse chapter 21, verse 1 to 7. The book of Revelation was written by the prophet John, called the prophet of love. He starts by saying here, he had a vision, a new sky, a new earth. He said the sea will not exist, he says the earth will be all remodeled. And he saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, which descended from the sky, towards the earth, and he heard a great voice from the heavens that said, Behold the tabernacle of God with men, for God shall dwell with them. They will be God's people, and God will be their God, and will be with them forever. It says here that God will clean out your eyes all the tears, no more death, no crying, no despair, no pain, because the first sufferings we have already passed. And God said, For it makes all things new, and he said to John, Write these words are faithful and true, and he said more and those who believe, will come to the kingdom of God, those who win, inherit all things, he says I shall be your God, and you will be my son. No doubt that heaven is a wonderful place, it is a place where love will remain forever. There will be no more misunderstanding, anguish. There will be no more suffering, there will be no more separation for death. We will take pleasure in doing God's will. And God will take pleasure in doing our will, everything will be wonderful, a harmony forever. This message that the Holy Spirit is passing on to the brethren, so that you will understand the kingdom of God, and see the importance of salvation. Eternal life, eternity, does not compare with our day to day here in this world. It pays to invest in the knowledge of the word of God, it pays to love God, it pays to love the next, it pays to choose the right side, because the kingdom of God is a choice. We have to make the right choice, the correct choice, and so we will win and live forever with God.
semente A semente ele plantou Nos corações A semente do amor E a semente Nos corações germinou E a semente Nos corações transformou E ele regou a semente Com seu sangue ele regou Walk 